like how are you guys dealing with corona i don't want to talk about it too much mm. but it seems to me that it's like today i heard somebody <laughs> talk about corona and it was like man i i get more depressed from people talking about it yeah than actually what it does because like hey um i i, I don't think i have it um but like how are you guys dealing with it? Like, is it affecting your life? And what do you guys recommend other people to stay safe? Because today I heard some statistics that are like ridiculous. Um, and it's like, for example, so many people will commit suicide because of Corona. That's like one. What do you mean with ridiculous, by the way? Oh, that, 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 okay, I get it, actually. That, that's the effect of the coronavirus that it's doing stuff like actually where people yeah. commit suicide. Yeah. Okay, like, okay. It's, it's yeah, it's true. crazy. Like, yeah. because we're in isolation, many people, they become depressed. If you're isolated and you're depressed, like you're more likely to commit suicide. Yeah. So not only is this like a, like, um, like a physical disease, but like the isolation brings so many other problems. Mental. Like yeah, I see yeah. people on Instagram posting like, oh, I'm so like super positive people that are like, oh, I don't want to work out. I have no energy. Um, like I'm losing my shit, like all this kind of yep. stuff. Um, and I just quickly wanted to ask you guys, like I'm, I'm feeling pretty okay. So I'll give some, some of my things as well, but how are you guys keeping up? Uh, are you staying safe and sane and how? Because I think yeah. that can help a lot of people. I think staying sane <laughs> is becoming more and more a challenge for people the longer this is stretching. Uh, but in general, like me, me personally, I'm doing okay. Uh, but I'm definitely hearing more effects on the mental health level of like the well-being of people the longer this is lasting. Yeah. Uh, and mainly one of the, the tactics you could say that I'm applying in this scenario is that I'm, I mean, so. Okay, basically the, the whole coronavirus is like a big pie, right? And if you just look at it, it's really hard to eat it all at once. And what I'm basically doing is like slicing, slicing it in like smaller pieces. So I'm, I'm basically, the main goal, the main thing that I'm focusing on is just making it through today. I'm just focusing on one day after the other. That's the only thing that I mainly focus on when I'm feeling super over, overwhelmed, right? Right now, I'm feeling not too overwhelmed or anything. But if I am, then I'm just going down to, to, to keeping things simpler and just coming down to just one day. This day, that's the only thing that I'm focusing on. And that's it. And I think that could be a very helpful way. Otherwise, it can become way too overwhelming as there is also no like end date on it to just focus on just this day. Uh, that's mainly what I would say that I'm using at the moment. It, it, there comes something to my mind, and this is something that you taught me, Yellis, which is posing yourself the question, what can you do about it? Because right. something overwhelms me, and this is what I learned from you. Mm -hmm. I just ask myself, like, what can I do about it? And there's absolutely nothing I can do about the virus. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, of course, I would love to travel. I lost a little bit of money, but like... like to go back to your question, Philip, for me, it didn't really change that much. Like, I'm very lucky uh, to have, you know, a bunch of online clients that are actually requesting more because they have more view time, they have more people watching their stuff. Uh, online clients, like, have uh, a great time, or most of them right now. So, for me, this actually has even helped a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I think in the long term, once the virus is sort of less active or less present i think it will push at least my business a little bit more but of course that's just a suggestion or a thought that i, I that could happen or i guess um so yeah i ask myself when i feel overwhelmed uh what can i do about it and there's absolutely nothing um i'm trying to stay healthy so I'm, I'm, i have a bunch of calisthenics gear to, to train here but that's something that you could do about. You can, you, I mean, you can't do anything about the virus per se, right? Can but you something can do something about you yeah. and your life. Yeah, like I think the most important thing is besides all the social distancing, and I agree with that, okay, you can do that. Uh, it's just to stay healthy in general. Yeah. Like uh, eat good food and train and boost up your immune system as much as you can. 
uh, you know, moving as much as you can. Uh, I mean, I, I have a friend who's stuck in uh, Colombia. He hasn't left the house for 42 days. Like, <laughs> what? This is crazy. Yeah. Like, uh, and especially in Colombia, man, I would be out every day. Holy yeah, shit. but I, I, I don't know about the social distancing uh, rules right now. Yeah. Uh, currently, they're a bit tighter. So he hasn't left the house for such a long time. Um, I would go crazy. So I try to go like early in the morning or at night. I go for a big walk. I train in my apartment, uh, try to eat healthy and, and see less people, but then the same people more frequently. Um, yeah. yeah, so this is, this is all I'm, I'm doing about it. But yeah, awesome. I mean, my I... battery almost died. One second. <laughs> God. <laughs> but I agree. Like, uh, honestly, if you want to prepare for this virus, having a good immune system is the one thing that's going to help you uh, in increasing the chances of surviving it, right? Not drinking this for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, okay, sure. But in general, you're an active person, you sleep well, you know, those are already like you eat well. Yeah. If you drink a Coke in between, it doesn't matter too much, right? Okay. But in general, yes, it's just about having a good immune system to be able to fight bacteria or a virus like this yeah. to come through it. So I think I personally don't worry too much about like my parents or my grandparents because I know they're like super healthy. Mm. Uh, and I very much know that they are able to actually get through this if they would get it. Mm. Uh, and so if you want to do something, you know, uh, be able, yeah, just get your immune system up with having sleep. Wim Hof method is actually a really good one too, then to get some cold exposure, cold showers. Probably, yeah. yeah. And just the basic things, right? Food, good food, water, sleep, sleep. working out. It's just yeah. simple. What about yeah. you? Uh, for me, the same. Um, I would say I, I was actually thinking about this because so many people and since we're like thinking about putting this out, it better be useful for some people. Yep. So I was thinking, OK, what do I do or what do people around me do that stay sane? One. And this is probably like the number one thing that helps you is do not watch the news mm. every day. <laughs> and that's what you guys do. Like, I know why Yellis isn't worried because he, he doesn't like, he's not interested in shit like that. He's yeah. interested in making his life better, like making his business better, like all that, like positive people. Um, so I think like people who are watching the news every day and be reminded why it sucks and be reminded why some people are dying and be reminded why you cannot go to work. And like, that's like, mm -hmm. that's so bad. So I think that one is really important than what you guys said, eat well, sleep well, work out, like try to do something every day. Like I try to work out at noon uh, during my noon break. And that's like become like almost of a habit. I don't do it every day, but like regularly enough, to keep me to keep me sane and i really know that when i don't work out at noon my afternoon i start like becoming like frustrated or like just like less motivated to work so those mm. things um are pretty good sleep well and then for the people who don't have a job or who like mm. who, are, who cannot go to work i would suggest like keep a routine routine like the the times in my life where i was like the least productive and happy were the times where I didn't have a routine where I wake up one day at 10 a.m. Like, no, I never wake up at 10, but like at nine or uh, then do not have any purpose in my day. Yeah, of course, like when you're not going to eat a good breakfast and we don't know what to do, like just find something that you want to do, like read a book. This is the perfect time to start reading or learning something new, like a new skill or something. You want to do something else with your life career wise or start making travel plans or whatever there are so many things um that you can do with your day so keep a routine like of working out and getting up at the same time um and then just doing something mm -hmm. and the last thing that i think is really key is speak to people like call your friends <laughs> call your colleagues like yeah. do not let yourself be isolated and think that you're uh 
alone in this world because that's what the world is going to like there are more and more yelly said it sometimes like there are more bigger and bigger cities and never have people in those cities felt so alone so i think just call your friends post something on instagram post something something on facebook reply to people send text messages like call them i think that's like um if you do those things like they might really uh, help i agree and in general, these are like very simple things, but the key thing is in the end to actually do them. Uh, but these are really good points. Um, yeah. And actually one thing, if, if like what you said about routine, and I really like that you said it, a routine actually gives a purpose. Yeah. And that's a good link actually to make. Because a lot of times people are like, why should I have a routine? But it's actually because you have a purpose in a day on what you should do. And in general, like uh, having a purpose just in life is a great thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's nice. Um, but okay, that's good things actually that you shared. Uh, 